Hi, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 14th. Um, I'm the first one I've really done here with the new camera, and I've got to play with settings and stuff. It looks really weird to me uh, compared to the uh, to the old phone. It's got so many adjustments on it. It seems really dark, but I'm running like crazy right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get going here. And as I'm playing around on the road, I'll figure all this stuff out. Um, we leave at the crack of dawn tomorrow morning to start Lyle's tour. I believe our first gig is Friday in maybe Kentucky, but we're flying into Cincinnati tomorrow and uh, meeting up with everybody. And then uh, we are off and running till the end of August. Really excited about this. It's going to be really fun. And being back with Amy Keys on the road is going to be great. My old buddy from Phil Collins touring for the last 20 years. Um, but today I'm going to throw a little more music on this kind of seemed fitting for mentioning Phil. This is an artist named Paul Dadamo uh, that I did an album with back in 2010. There's a little snippet here on the bottom of the thing here. It says, an interesting album for all Genesis and Phil Collins. I'm just reading it. I'm tipping the phone down because it's, it's right behind me. It's like, oh, wait, I can, I can raise it up. It's so sad when your brain dies inside your skull. Um, an interesting album for all Genesis and Phil Collins fans. Paul Dadamo is an American singer who recorded a record with four original tracks and six remakes of Phil Collins and Genesis tracks. The musicians? Question mark. <laughs> it's great. These are the Genesis musicians. Uh, Chester Thompson on drums, Daryl Sturmer on guitar, Leland Sklar on bass, and Brad Cole also as production. A really nice and interesting album suitable for fans of contemporary pop music and melodic rock. So this was, uh, the album is called Tell Me Something. It, Paul's, uh, uh, you'll see it when I put it on there, but this was from 2010. So um, let me play a couple of tracks from this. It's a really interesting record though. The first song I'm going to play here is Please Don't Ask. Let me see. Um... Gives no credit on there for writer. I'm not sure which one this is, but this is called Please Don't Ask. Please don't ask me how I feel. I feel fine. I cry a bit, don't sleep too good, but I'm fine. When can I see you? When can I touch you? Again and again. Myself, was I wrong? Over times I heal, heaven knows I've been strong. Enough of me. Tell me, how are you? 
Sweet, sweet. I'm looking forward to it. I think in, within the first few days of the uh, tour, we'll be in Milwaukee. So I'll hopefully be able to get together with Daryl Sturmer, who lives in Milwaukee, and see him. Uh, miss him. I miss, I miss Daryl and Brad, everybody um, from Phil's camp. You know, when these things kind of really come to an end, there's really a level of heartbreak with it because this is really a, a family that you know, just suddenly disbanded. It's really hard to stay in, you know, physical touch when we're all scattered all over the place, you know, all over the country, all over Europe. Uh, but uh, I hope I get a chance to see him. Let's see, let's do another one here. This would be, uh, let's try Entangled. This one's called Entangled. Let's see if it gives any yeah, it's got really limited information on some of these projects I've done. You know, just trying to find them is hard enough, and then finding out any information is difficult. But here we go, Entangled.
sure would like something with a little more credits information on this one. I love the horn on that. Okay, one more. Um, let's see, this one is Miss You. That was a previous one. It was a Genesis tune. Let's see if there's anything. No, nothing here. The album is Tell Me Something, but this one is called Miss You. A lovely album. There's a bunch of stuff. The stuff like Long Long Way to Go and Doesn't Anybody Stay Together Anymore. It's real interesting versions of those tunes. Uh, worth checking out. Paul Dadamo, uh, Tell Me Something from 2010. Also, I want to acknowledge, I, it's been a little bit scattered getting ready for this tour, but I was really sad to hear of the passing of George Winston, the pianist who really was one of the pioneers in, in just kind of just easy listening, smooth jazz. Um, it just had a unique style, and he passed away, I think, on the 4th. 
uh, from cancer. He was 74. And then the passing, the, the death of Treat Williams, which was really sad in a motorcycle accident. He's really such a good actor and just good guy. Just he's always got a great feel for him. And uh, just been a lot of a lot of passing. It's really sad. Just, just want to get out there and work. So um, I'm going to get going now. I got a ton of stuff to take care of uh, being the last day at home. So I'm going to do that. Um, did a cameo a little while ago. I've been doing a lot of cameos lately, which is really fun. And I got some books and t-shirts to deliver to the post office. And then I have to go to Home Depot to finish one last project here. And then boom. So I'm going to be experimenting with this phone because I really have only had one day with it. And it was only for a couple of phone calls. So this is the first time I've really filmed with it, except for the um, except for the cameos I've been doing uh, today. So um, I'm out of here. You take good care and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take some little videos of our traveling together. I should be with Amy and Lamont. A few of us should be flying together because we're all kind of in the same area. So we'll see what happens, but take care. Bye.